Right, take a look at these then, buddy. And we'll have a little chat again through these setups, okay? So using that scale that we did from the start there on the first one, okay? Yes, you worked hard on this movement on the takeaway, okay? The club on the previous shots we saw last lesson, we'll even on the camera, okay? So this takeaway now on the left-hand side, you've kind of hinging the wrist, okay? But the forearm is still rolling and folding. So when the club kind of gets to power of the ground, the club now is back here, but it's all between red and green, okay? We want it between effectively red and yellow, or I guess blue and yellow at an absolute max, okay? So this movement, you know, almost as you're taking the club with the butt end, that club is kind of going down as you go back. The important thing is you're still turning your hips at the same time, yeah? Don't just try and position the club outside. The club works around the arc, as we said. So your body is moving in this way, your hands are moving in this way, and the club's moving this way. They're all moving on that arc in sync together, yeah? If you just try and position the club there and don't use the body, the club now is too far behind your body. If you turn now, the club's behind you, yeah? And that's the problem. Everything's got to work in unison together for that kind of connectivity or timing that we talk about, okay? So when the club starts working back this way, now that club working up the shaft plane really good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, again, that club's the top of the backswing. Decent spot there. Is it slightly overswing? Yeah, a little bit because you've got quite a big shoulder turn, but generally we're in a good spot. Now, as we start unwind the body, that club can come back down in front of you on a good plane. The club now can get somewhere within region to the golf ball from a good angle. It's not coming from in here somewhere. So now you can rotate your torso through. We can start the ball just right at the white line. And this felt to, because your previous shots felt straight line before, was kind of over here, or maybe further right than that. Now the ball is starting left of that. It feels to you like it's starting over here somewhere. Yeah. Nowhere near yeah. starting left of target, is it? But it's still starting left of where you're used to starting it, okay? So getting that club back in front of you is something you're able to do now once you've turned and got the club back in front of the way back. Once the club whipped inside you here, you had, you had to try to find on the way down. Which... So in front of me without, you know, the top. Exactly. Yeah. So you're not, you're not, you're not going in 10, 15 out. degrees yeah. and then chucking it back over the top. Because if you're again, you're, you might find a freeze. Oh, it looks good here, but you've got to there from here by going over the top and you come back to goal. But now it's a different side or yeah. a different position. Yeah. So all these different adjustments side, side to side are going to cause a problem. So the takeaway, I think you've got it 50% of the time. Yeah. It's still not perfect yet every time. Certainly a lot better. You're getting the position. I think there's a practice thing now. You want to almost fill it in all these sort of low, trappy, catty, fadey ones, yeah? Yeah. And just get that club back. And that'll, that'll help it both in terms of impact and strike and start direction. Yeah. Okay, mate, makes sense? Good stuff. Yeah, exactly, mate. Yeah, good stuff. Nice one.